just to make that clear the technical position, it, the difference between just Parliament going off on its conference recess for a couple of weeks and being prorogued is that when the House is prorogued, any legislation which is underway mm. falls. It's killed by the fact of prorogation. And I think that one reason the government has chosen to prorogue the House is it's seen that one of the most potent weapons in the hands of opposition and uh, other members who wish to oppose no deal is to legislate to prevent it. Uh, well done, Boris. Previously, people who wanted to pursue that would have thought they had a couple of weeks in September and a couple of weeks in October to get legislation through. This stops that happening. This means any attempt underway that starts next week will be killed at the point of prorogation. So does and it mean that legislation be, for those who want in Parliament who want to block it is, is not going to be a viable option? Though? It's extremely tight timing to get it through in the four or five days we will have. Uh, we don't exactly know uh, uh, from next week and the following week because we haven't heard exactly when the date of prorogation would be. I would say it's extremely tight to get the legislation, yes. the time to do the legislation, to pass it through the Commons and the Lords.